Hi, I'm Cindy McGee, and you're watching Polymer Clay TV. Today's Rainforest Butterflies veneer was inspired by this fabric that I found on Spoonflower.com. I started with some Primo Sculpey White, which I conditioned and rolled to a setting number 5 on my clay machine. I'm using Ultramarine Blue Shade Pan Pastel to cover the entire surface of the clay sheet. Next, I'm using some Sailboat Blue alcohol ink and a little bit of regular rubbing alcohol. I'm going to place a little of the alcohol and then some of the alcohol ink onto a cotton ball and then dab it over the surface of the pan pastel. Once that was dry, I'm using the Butterflies and Cicadas and Moth silkscreen from Create Along and some black DecoArt paint to silkscreen some of those butterflies and moths over the surface. I like to press them in place or even give them a little roll just to make sure that they're going to stay put while I screen. Now you need to wash your silk screen right away to make sure that it's clean for use next time and we'll let these dry and then we'll do some more. I use my craft knife just to cut and remove the ones I had already done and now I'm going to silk screen some more of those butterflies on that background. Once all the butterflies were dry I went ahead and used my craft knife to cut around each one as closely as I could. I made a sheet of some scrap white and translucent clay that I rolled to a setting 3 and I'm going to use some different paints to mimic that background. This is Dioxazine Purple, Citron Green, Ocean Blue, and Purple Pizzazz. Because that original design sort of has a finger painted look, I'm going to use my fingertips to just randomly apply this paint to that sheet. Next, I placed my butterflies randomly over the surface of the background. I'm going to let it dry completely before I proceed with making some jewelry and some polymer trading coins. Here are a few of the pieces that I'm working on with this veneer. For more inspiration, join our Polymer Clay Tribe Facebook page. Over 17,000 members sharing projects every day. For lots more creative polymer clay ideas, visit the Polymer Clay TV blog. 